You say, preacher, what do you mean? Every pastor I talk to, a midget's cousin came and spent part of the day with us yesterday and said the same thing everybody else is saying about how the people used to come to church or they come at certain times but don't look for them any other time. That's the story nowadays, everywhere. America is not listening. We are on, we're, we're closer to the brink of a nuclear annihilation or war than we've been since 1962 when John Kennedy was president and the boats were coming from Russia to Cuba and Jack Kennedy said, if you don't turn them around, well, you know, that's it. We're going to take them out. Khrushchev says, we'll nuke you. Kennedy says, we'll nuke you back. I remember I was walking from the parking lot about, I had my lunch back into the factory where I worked. And my nephew came by and come out. And he said, they backed off. They turned around. They're going back. They're going back to Russia. Boy, everybody was so happy. We'll never have to face that again. But friend, we've got their finger on their trigger now. They're not trusting those ballistic missiles for nothing. And I don't know. I don't believe the church will be here. It's going to be so bad. A tribulation, but Jesus is going to come back. But I want to have my ear tuned in to glory, don't you? Evidently, Achan just thought, well, Babylonish garment, what harm can that do? Do you know that how, that's how people get out of church? They just don't up and quit in the middle of a great service and walk out and not come back. You know how they get out of church? Well, prayer meeting don't amount to anything. Uh, well, I'll just lay in and, you know, and so forth. And I've got to do this and do that. I've got to let this go. Let your whole world go, but put God first. But he said, a Babylonian garment, that's foolish to throw that away. A wedge of silver? That's foolish to throw. That's foolish not to take that. After all I've done in this war and this battle and so forth and marching. But God said take all those things that's good and put them in the treasure of the Lord. But he took it and hid it under his tent. Folks, anything you take from God, you might as well take it and hide it. Because it'll never do you one ounce of good. You know that? It'll never do you one ounce of good that day or that night or so on, you stole from God, it'll never do you any good. Somehow, some bad will come of it. But, you say, preacher, I see Christians suffer. I see Christians go through valleys. I see Christians lose loved ones. I see Christians dying with cancer. Yes, but praise God, don't you know? When a Christian's eyes close in death with cancer, they open up to the glory of Almighty God where there's streets of gold, walls of jasper, gates of pearl. For all eternity, they will never have to suffer again. Praise God. Hallelujah. You could just leave in a snap of a finger. But just as quick as you snap your finger, you'll also be alive in the kingdom of the Lord. I believe that tonight with all my heart. I believe that. Yes. If I did, I wouldn't waste my time preaching it to you. But I do know tonight, and I won't hold you, but I do know tonight that this Rahab, as the profession that she had, it reminds me of another woman who lived just about like her. She had a terrible, messed up life. that No one would have anything to do with her. Five men finally got so self-righteous and stiff-necked. They thought they were so good. And they didn't even know God. Because she didn't live up. Listen, folks. There's a world full of sinners out there that needs to be told, God loves you. It's easy to condemn them. Read in a paper where a young person died of an overdose. That could have been my child or yours or somebody. It breaks your heart. The church is the only hope. And when the church becomes as it is here, there will be no hope. It will all be gone. I thank God. Let's hold on to the hope 
of Jesus Christ. As you get a song. This man that thought he had some silver, he thought he had a good Babylonian garment. Boy, I'm going to sport this off as soon as this is over. I'm going to take this silver and buy me a big farm. Well, the church went out to fight a battle in Ai. They said, we don't need everybody. Joshua, just a few. 3,000 of them went up. And they got killed, slaughtered, came back down. Joshua said, Lord, what's wrong? And God said, there's sin in the camp. That's what's wrong with America today. There's sin in the camp. We're killing babies. and uh, You know, it's there's sin in the camp. That's what's destroying us every day. And people can't see that. Now, I'm just an old, very hard preacher. And I don't know a whole lot of anything else. But I'm glad tonight I know that my sins have been covered by the blood. Aren't you? I'm glad my sins have been covered by the blood. Praise the Lord. I'm not perfect, but thank God the one in me is. And he keeps me perfect. In his perfection will I go to heaven. Praise the Lord. God bless you and stand together.